King Oris' wars of conquest resumed in 358 AC. After a subjugation of the three daughters, Lys, Myr and Tyrosh, and his dragon dance above Yunkai, it was now time to conquer the largest city in the world, Volantis. The dominions of the city had lost their cohesion in recent years, but they could still count on the support of a grand coalition of Bravos, Kohor and Pantos, who all joined in a desperate effort to stop the Dragon Lord before they themselves would be next. Ingoris knew he had to take the initiative to prevent the war from escalating further. Landing his token force near Mur, he quickly moved on the fortress of Ulfis Mel. The army rapidly swelled as Oris's vessels joined their king at the siege camp. As the siege in far off Essos continued, the opposing coalition made a bold move of their own. Controlling Blackwater Bay with their combined fleet, the three free cities decided to lay siege to Dragonstone itself in a bid to capture Orestes' family and force him to the negotiating table. As troops started to arrive on the island of Driftmark from King's Landing in preparation for the relief of Dragonstone, the coalition sent a force to repel them. The Battle of Driftmark was a messy affair. The King's forces had not fully regrouped after their landing when the coalition forces arrived on the beach in their rowboats. The King's brother, Simon Baratheon, played a major role in quickly rallying the Crown's forces and the coalition army was driven back into the sea on Driftmark's beaches. This had bought Simon's troops valuable time, though his force was still not strong enough to relieve Dragonstone. After taking the Volantine fortress of Ulfis Mel, King Oris received word of the siege of Dragonstone and quickly gathered his forces to link up with those of his brother Simon on Driftmark. The combined army was still significantly outnumbered by the enemy, not to mention, it had the further disadvantage of attacking an entrenched enemy from the water. But Oris did have one advantage over the enemy, his dragon, Drogon. The three lords of Kohor, Pentos and Bravos had all tried to prepare for this eventuality, and they all tried, and failed, to slay Drogon. The Magister Tenisio of Kohor even died in the process. Sir Glendon, Oris' squire and ward, proved himself in battle, defeating Sea Lord Genisio of Bravos and bringing him before his king as a prisoner. The relief of Dragonstone was a generation-defining battle, the likes of which had not been seen since the Battle of the Trident 75 years ago. The coalition was forced to surrender, leaving Volantis to the Iron Throne. Prince Robert, or his oldest son and heir, had been imprisoned in Dragonstone throughout the entire siege, but he had not been sitting still. The boy had shown himself to be exceedingly brave in these dire circumstances and had developed into a skilled swordsman besides. He had also managed to hatch a dragon, Lys, to accompany Ariax, the dragon of his betrothed, Lady Simella Targaryen. To celebrate his victory and to spend some of the royal ransom paid by the Sea Lord of Bravos, King Oris organized a grand tourney in Dragonstone, introducing his new court to his vassals. The youngest member of the King's Guard, Sir Randall Hunt, only 16 years of age, performed well in this tourney and there were those who called him a new Loris Tyrell. The tourney was otherwise a way for King Oris to hear the many, many grievances of his vassals and speak justice, although the king was soft on his wife, Jelena Risley of the Vale, despite many accusations of cruelty and murder towards her. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to JGL Gaming, and welcome back to the Isle of Dragonstone. Uh, whereupon resides ya boy, King Oris the Dragon Lord. Come on, game. <laughs> Takes some, some starting up sometimes. Yes, serious. Megaphone's loan taken. Yeah, this episode we'll be probably gathering some money. But last episode, we conquered the largest city in the world, so that should not be a problem. Yes, uh, last episode we had an ep fought an epic war against Pentos, Bravos, Kohor, and uh, what remains of Volantis. This episode, yeah, we could press our advantage, I guess, still, but I mean, I've already taken a loan. I don't want to be bankrupt, so I think um, I think we're gonna at least make enough money to fight that war. So we will fight. We will wait at least a while before we go back to war again. Yes, let's go. We are the true dragon lord. Oh, Simon died. Died of poor health. Ah, oh, man. Simon, <laughs> there's a kind of, I think, like a curse on these characters because whenever I mention them in a recap, 
they die unceremoniously <laughs> in the next episode. Sorry to hear that, Simon. Uh, my brother deserves to be honored at the funeral, yes. Won't do it too, too big of a funeral, but uh, Court of Dragonstone can attend, yeah. Oh, he even inherited some money from him. I'm sure many people will want to join. Uh, Lefish Lina, let's just... Enough for it's a funeral, right? We don't need to have a big, big feast. Too bad Simon died. He helped us out a lot on, uh, on Dragonstone. But we fought that battle uh, where we captured the Lord of Bravos. We, we, we killed the Lord of Kohor, I believe. Maybe it was the other way around. And then we, uh, we, we did the Lord of Pentos fled. Burnt the life as offering to Relore. Okay, all right. He's not much better off at home, I guess. Yeah, let's chat about uh, my brother Simon. We only really learned about his existence in the last couple of uh, couple of years, but in terms of the feast too. Oh, are we gonna have more petitions, really? Uh, no, they're not gonna imprison Prince Engram for you. Uh, allowing to merchants trading, trading in Bravos and elsewhere were driven to the Iron Throne by bad weather. Should not pay taxes on except on any goods sold in the Iron Throne. You are you serious? This is this is a fucking ballsy move, man. <laughs> Genesio oh, Bravos, we literally just got out of war with you. <laughs> and you uh you dare to uh, to demand stuff from us? Nope. Screw you. <laughs> the funeral. Uh Sound Sisters, yeah, 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 the final final resting place. And so it is done. He was a man with little likes or dislikes who just lived each day as it came. <laughs> That's gonna be me, I think. <laughs> when I die. My brother, Lord Paramount Edric, has asked me to spend some quality time, quality family time in High Garden. Yeah, okay, sure. He's my friend, right, Edric? We gave him uh, a dragon. Dragon is a is a ravenous beast. He regularly roams the land of lands of Dragonstone, gorging on the livestock. Yeah, we, we we we've talked about this before, guys. You should live on Dragonstone. Get out of Dragonstone if you don't want your livestock to be burned, man. <laughs> uh, yeah, so we're gonna we're gonna have a little party with uh, with uh, with uh, our brother and our friend. That's nice. Uh, Nacella Westerling accepted Lord Paramount Quentin of the Westerlands peace offer. Okay, so she she lost my uh, cousin by no my niece by marriage. She lost against uh, Lord Quentin uh, Westerling. That's fine. He's unmarried actually. Should we marry him to uh, to one of my family members? Is that the uh, set an idea? Arrange marriage. Oh, he doesn't want to get married. No, refusing marriage. Okay. Or for non-aggression pact. Oh, yeah, he wants. Okay, great. Uh, force Olimar to learn how to fight. Yes, you should. You should, Olimar. You should learn how to fight. Man, we'll force you to train, in fact. Nope, he's maimed. <laughs> okay. <laughs> no, it's, uh, it's not my main my main boy. My main boy, Robert Fireborn. He's depressed. What are you talking about? You're 14? Okay, well, I guess you're a teenager. <laughs> that can be a bit, a bit of a depressing uh, part of your life. Uh, Betrothed can marry. Oh, oh uh, my Lady Samela and Lord Robert Fireborn can get married. All right. Yep. Good, uh, good, uh, good point. Good thing. Do we have to hold a, a lavish wedding feast, though? I accept your suggestion. Yeah, you better accept the suggestion. <laughs> I accept your proposal for an immigration pact. Very nice. Uh, this woman, Lord Lady Jane. Oh, she was married to uh, Prince uh, Simon. No marriage, please. You can marry whoever you want. We don't care. Well, Robert Rettian and Lady Samela Targaryen have got married and it is customary for a dowry to be paid. Yes, please pay me a dowry. We can use the money. 25 gold. The customary amount. All right, fine. We can still use the money, right? We want to go back to war again. ASAP. Uh, Herrick Fairstallion. I vaguely recall this guy. Mm, I think he... Yeah. Alin. Yeah, he, uh, he seduced my lover. <laughs> She's not my lover anymore. Uh, yeah, you can marriage you, please, my man. All right, I think we have enough money to go for a second round against... Uh, oh, let's, let's first give our children uh, guardians again. My nephew, Herrick Baratheon. Uh, I don't really care. Well, I care, I care enough to not make you <laughs> the uh, the booty guardian. Let's have this guy be, uh, be the guardian. What about you? Oh, yeah, he's fine. Amen. Eamon, uh, Eamon, what's his last name? Eamon, Tr Eamon True, what a name, man. Okay, uh, how is your martial situation looking? Okay, he's mostly recovered. What about the Prince of Bravos? Sea Lord of Bravos. Okay, he's still quite weak, comparatively. Um, 
but I, I guess we could attack Pentos. Or should we attack Bravos? Or both at the same time? Yeah, let's just do both at the same time. I, I, I'm pretty sure they're gonna they're gonna join each other anyway. So, <laughs> Dragon Conquest of Pentos. Who will join him? Ah, this that's us. That's uh, our ally in the far, far east. Dragon Conquest of Pentos. Yes, everybody, please join me. We will do Bravos uh, at the same time. Why not? Dragon Conquest of Bravos. There we go. Okay, let's let's raise our army. We're gonna back going back to war again. It's high time. Well, it's not high time. We just came out of war, but <laughs> it's fine. It's, it's a high, high enough time. Yep, everybody is joining me. Very nice. Thank you. He is wise. Oh, he is, uh, this is the, oh, the Magister of Pentos is just joining me. Uh, I mean, I guess we cowed him in the last war, right? We beat him quite, uh, quite extensively. So I can imagine that he, uh, he he's not uh, willing to fight, uh, fight us, uh, fight all the, of the Iron Throne at once. Wonder if the Bravosi will do the same thing. Oh man, uh, we could use your army actually. <laughs> That's actually quite useful. Prince Olimar died. A mangled mess. Okay, we forced him to fight and he died. <laughs> um, okay, let's hold a funeral. Small, uh, small funeral. It's uh, it's war. We have no time to do anything more than that. Uh, they will surely honor their obligations, yes. Okay, so Bravos, uh, I think, is uh, deciding to fight. Uh, oh, the, the Lord Paramount of Pentos is not joining. That makes sense, I guess. Holding a large feast. Alright, not really a large feast, but fine. Don't want to spend too much on food. We're at war, guys. After my most recent victory, I've reunited my most trusted commanders to discuss our future military campaigns. Through my skill and dedication, I've earned the loyalty of my armies and immortalized my name as one of the great conquerors of our time. Oh, is this uh, the bloodline one? We already had 15 uh, wars? Yeah, I guess so. Okay, we won 15 foreign wars. It is only through virtue that victory is achieved. Make a speech about knightly values. Greater battles await us yet. We can uh, can become, uh, become wrathful. Philosophy and good strategy have led us here. I mean, I am, uh, yeah, I, I, I'm, I'm a learning-focused guy, right? Movement speed plus 15%, that's insanely good. Can use the session to drill troops, I don't know what that means. Attracts wandering knights, bards, and damsels, though. That's also very nice. I think I will go with that. It's, I think that's, that's nicer for roleplay. Uh, that we will have uh, random people come to our court. Let's see, yeah. Uh, it's only through virtue that victory is achieved. The perfect knight. I mean, I'm a pretty knightly character, I guess. King Horus has risen as a, sh as a shining example of knightly virtue that will not soon be forgotten. A paragon of gallantry and valor on the battlefield, as well as the, as the court, he is living proof that ruthlessness and deceit are no requirements to excel on the field of battle. Well, I don't know about that. I'm a pretty ruthless guy. <laughs> with a pure heart filled with the glory of our lord and an, our, our lords, surely. <laughs> this is not uh, this is not the lore, man. We are we are, we are, we are fated to seven. Uh, an unwavering discipline tempered by countless battles and tournaments. Yeah, that's true. The king of the Iron Throne has triumphed over his enemies time and again, inspiring many young men to follow in his footsteps and sing of his legendary feats. Becomes known as the founder of a bloodline. Okay, we don't change the name, we still are the Dragon Lord. That's fine, I guess. But we found the founder of the bloodline. Verretti, the valiant blood of King Horus. Hailed as a paragon of knighthood, King Horus has been celebrated in countless songs and as a pinnacle of valor and gallantry, triumphing over wickedness. Great, nice. So we founded the bloodline. That's, that's 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 very nice. We have 10k prestige. I mean, it makes sense. Whilst clearing out a ruined library in Summer Hall, some scholars have found some old scrolls that they thought you could see. You should see. Speak of the fate of Seven and its virtues, and there's a fine, fine piece of writing indeed. Have them carefully restored. Yeah, fine. Religious scrolls. What is that? Where are they? Oh, uh, do I? Oh, yeah, of course. Oberyn. Did Oberyn die? Oh, yeah, he died a while ago, I think. Dragon Whip. Fate of the Seven, okay, that's that's not that's that's shit. <laughs> Plus zero point one piety. Wow, thanks a lot, man. <laughs> oh well, uh, let's go to Bravos. Uh, this was necessary. Okay, we, we've had this event before, and we stayed loyal to our wife, so let's continue doing that. Especially now that we are known as a as a true noble knight. Makes sense, I think. We love our wife, right? Seventy five piety, We're becoming more pious by the day. All right, let's just go. Uh, to Bravos. We will drop off our troops here. And we will move on the city. Uh, can we walk there, actually? Is there a land bridge? 
Straight across Cape of Bravos to the marshes. Yeah, okay, let's go there. Let's move along the coast, though. I'm pretty sure that that has a larger... Uh, what's it called? Supply limit. Mm, yeah. Is the supply limit very terrible? Only here, really. I think. Yeah, for the rest it's okay. We will lose some troops, but that's fine. We can have new ones brought over from uh, King's Landing. There's many, uh, many moving in still. Funeral, okay, whatever. He's a little little boy. He died. I'm sad. <laughs> we could, I guess, switch to war focus and see if we can't improve our combat ability. Is that, uh, can you do that from trained fighter onwards? No, I guess not. Still adopt the lifestyle, though. We might become dualist. Oh, here's the Bravosi army. They are gathering here. The Sea Lord of Bravos is personally leading troops. Even more f piety. Very nice. The Sea Lord of Bravos is besieging Dragonstone again, but this time we're ready for him. Oh, let's put some commanders in charge, though. Carlton, Beric, Justin, fine. Yeah, we will overwhelm them with numbers anyway. We don't need to have great commanders in charge. Oh. Uh, somebody. We replaced somebody. Beric is, uh, is an organizer, though. I think we should put Beric in the in the main uh, line, because we want to move to Bravos as, as quickly as we can. I guess we lost the commander now here. Yeah, Beric is gone. We'll replace him with Harmon. There we go. Okay, let's move on Bravos, though. Yep, we uh, relieved Dragonstone again, same as the last war. We'll pick up some more troops from uh, King's Landing. I think my vessels are also starting to arrive. Oh, I think the uh, the Bravos guy he loaded his troops on on this galley. Hmm. Okay, we should uh, keep an eye on that. We can already move some reinforcements down here. Don't know where he's attacking. Is it Driftmark? Yeah, it is. Okay. We'll move some more troops in there then, because we will have to attack over straight. Meanwhile, uh, King Horus will move on uh, Bravos itself. He'll be there at some point. Uh, I think we can handle this. If not, more troops are coming, right? There we go. We captured Faceless Man. Pokoro of the Faceless Man. Okay. <laughs> we captured the leader of the Faceless Man. Okay. Does he have any money? Nope. Should we execute him? <laughs> Ransom. Uh, or we could release him, I guess. Why can we not release him? Not captured in battle. Okay, well, whatever. We might be able to do it later. Yeah, we can be merciful to this guy. He's the leader of the faces, man. I'm a bit scared of him. <laughs> we can't release him, I guess. I don't know why not. Currently immune to hostile actions. Okay. We're still beating the uh, Bravosi here. Now what can we do? Deploy dragon in siege. Now, uh, are we already at Bravos? No, we're still in the waters. Let's move on Bravos itself. Uh, come on. Are we uh, besieging Bravos or not? Travelers bring rumors of fire and blood. They said at least has escaped from the dungeons of Robert Bratian and has built a lair in no man's land. What have you done, Robert Bratian? What have you done indeed? Oh, come on, Robert. Don't die on me now. One night, severely injured. His dragon escaped him. Hmm. Okay, that's not good. Why? Why are you his guardian? I never, I never know how this, how this happens. Come on, get back under me. I should be your guardian, man. Are we besieging Bravos? Yes, we are. Okay, let's just deploy the dragon in the siege, right? Bravos is worth it. Deploy dragon in siege. Your enemies think they are safe on the other side of the rock, of rock and mortar. Do the fools truly believe such petty defenses can hold back your fire? Tracaris. That was nice. That was <laughs> that helped a lot in that siege. Fifty-nine percent. Okay, we are now doing, uh, doing making quick work of uh, of Bravos. Let's put ourselves in charge again because we have siege leader. Um, Beric, fine. They say that dragons dragons live on, live once more, and that Diella Fire now rides leads into battle. Oh man, she stole my dragon. See, okay, this is my my son's dragon, Robert's dragon. And uh, it fled to No Man's Land, so that's the home of the Targaryens. And there it was tamed by Robert's... 
What, what is it called? Uh, yeah, mo mother-in-law. Yeah, Daryella Fire, the mother-in-law of uh, of Robert, our future mother-in-law. No, no mother-in-law actually. Man, that sucks. <laughs> We're gonna have to do about uh, something about that once we play as Robert. We have uh, we have uh, a ca cause for vengeance now. Does the world have enough room for another dragon rider? Yeah, who knows. Although actually, she's my vessel, so do I? Do I really care? <laughs> Uh, we have taken Bravos, but Sea Lord Genicio Pestain is not here. Yeah, put his family in house arrest. That's fine. 100%. Okay, here we go. The Force demands. Epic war, man. <laughs> okay, let's lower the troops. Now we, we are just gonna enjoy the peace for a little while. Because we, we really need to get some money back. Ha <laughs> ha ha! Look at this. We appoint the old council. Tywash is not under us yet, though. Ah, oh, they're still in some, some kind of a slave raid. Stepstones are also in some kind of invasion war. Can we help them out with that? No, it doesn't look like it. But look at this, man. We, we now completely own the Narrow Sea. The Narrow Sea is our sea now. <laughs> All these people along the shores of the Narrow Sea are our vessels. Insane. We are in New Valyria. Or we're quickly becoming New Valyria anyway. Can we? When can we form it? Seven Kingdoms, are, I wanna, I'm looking for New Valeria, Empire of New Valeria. Probably need 80%, right? Yeah. Oh no, we only need to control 51%. Okay, we'll be able to do that quite soon, actually. <laughs> we might do it and give it to uh, maybe a family member or something. Let's see. First off, uh, let's enjoy the fruits of our labor for a little while. But look at this, guys. <laughs> we have finally managed to subjugate Pentos and Bravos. We have we, we have now uh, control a significant chunk of Essos. We might move uh, move east further. Is Robert still my guardian? Robert Fireborn, he's, uh, he's got one eye. <laughs> he's my friend though. And uh, let's hope he, uh, he gets a good education. That would be good. I hope he enters somewhere my eye for gold, that's fine. Orion's Dragon Egg has been added to the treasury of, of Princess Sylvina. Okay, interesting. She might give it to her kid. Her dwarf kid, Prince Clement Baratheon. Alright. Robert uh, is now married, so let's hope he gets a kid as well soon. Simella is not pregnant again. Not pregnant yet, but uh, she might be soon. Let's gain some money, repay our loan. Uh, I had to break up a fight between my son Robert and another child today. Robert's heart is filled with envy. Talk to him about kindness, sure. Uh, I paid interest? Nope. I'm not gonna pay any interest. I have to repay my own loans. Can I do it already? Yes. Okay, great. So we are back out of debt again, once more. Alliance breaker, really? Don't know when I broke an alliance. I guess I forgot to click on a button or something. Uh, but I guess my vessels are like me okay enough. Yeah, we should be fine. I'm a little bit annoyed by this though. <laughs> I don't think I broke any alliance, but maybe I did. It expires in a couple of years anyway. Your daughter-in-law, Simella, uh, needs to be protected by a member of the King's Guard. Uh, Sir Jacob Darkholm, he's a Valyrian, right? Let's send him. Uh, Prince Stannis Baratheon. Uh, let's have him educated at court with some basic equipment. Alona Baratheon has had Orion's Dragon Egg added to that treasury. Okay. I guess my, my daughter gave her the dragon egg. I would have guessed she would have given it to her son, but I guess she gave it to uh, her sister, which is fine, I guess. So Robert Fireborn has grown up. Oh, he's a skill tactician. Whoa, he, he is terrible. What the hell? Two diplomacy as base, eight as marshal, three stewardship, six intrigue, but he has zero points in it. Wow. <laughs> he turned out really terribly. <laughs> I guess his traits are good, so he's got that to go going for him, which is nice. But look at all these other traits, man. This is just terrible. <laughs> We're gonna have to do something about that uh, when and if uh, we play as him. And I guess his vessels will still like him, even though he's uh, otherwise pretty terrible. Oh, let's, uh, let's fight an attorney, sure. I think we're a pretty good fighter nowadays, yeah. And I think Robert, Robert is a terrible fighter. Why? Infection. 
Okay, let's hope he lives then. Oh, he's one-eyed. Ah, oh, that sucks, man. <laughs> You're setting him up to be a good fighter, but uh, he lost his eye. Inspiring leader. Oh, organizer. Inspire them. Inspiring leader Su suits Auras better, I think, than, uh, than Organizer. Even though Organizer, I think, is a bit better. I'll give you some coin. Nope. Uh, I have more diplomatic thought than I... I, I am more diplomatic than I thought. Okay, great. We gained a point in diplomacy. We are also not that great, actually, but we do have a way better marshal than uh, than, than our our, our, uh, our son. I should ready my horse, yes. We're fighting Renly Royce. All right, we should be able to defeat him. Fine hit, I must say. None can beat me. Great. We're fighting Sir Oscar Hawk. Okay, he's going to be a formidable opponent. Let's see if we win. Hit. I'll knock him off this time. Oh dear. Ouch. Okay, we uh, we lost. <laughs> we lost again. Ah, it looks like these stepstones are back under us again. So now we can look at our pretty borders. Although we still have this little red spot in between here. Um, who, who holds that? High Lordship of Tall Trees Town. Is it just this one? Oh no, they, uh, yes, he has some, uh, some land there as well. We will attack him. Claim Tall Trees Town. Uh, no, should be claim dark den, right? Yeah, claim dark den. We'll surely on their obligations. They will surely do that. We'll have to just fight a minor, minor war, hopefully, uh, against this guy. Everybody is joining me. I think he's not going to surrender because it's a de jure war, so he's not going to. Uh, he doesn't have the option to surrender, I think. So we have to beat him uh, the old-fashioned way. But iron and blood. That's uh, uh, by Bismarck. Eisen und Blut is how uh, Germany should be united. Um, Iron Throne Fleet. Oh, here, here comes the big, uh, big section of the fleet. So uh, once they are here, we can uh, we can start to charge uh, the last remaining part of the Iron Throne. That is not uh, uh, sorry, part of the shore of the narrow sea that's not owned by the Iron Throne. So we can. Uh, we can grab that as well, and then we will be full, fully masters of the Iron Throne. Let's go down here. Let's fight these samurai. Ah. Or as a master of a dragon riding it into battle, he will be missed now that he is with the gods. He died of severe stress at age 45. That is some bullshit, man. But luckily, we already have a successor. King Robert III Fireborn. Fireball. <laughs> This was kind of a <laughs> kind of a bitch way to go for uh, or as the dragon lord, but you know, he died doing what he loved, fighting people. <laughs> he died uh, of stress, you know. I guess this this little so he he he, 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 um, he died just before he was able to complete his his life's work. So I guess that's a pretty George R. R. Martiny ending. Because <laughs> uh, it's, it's kind of bittersweet, you know, he achieved everything he wanted except one little thing, <laughs> and then he died. <laughs> so, um, we're going to be playing next episode as King Robert III Fireborn. Fireball. Yes, this guy, <laughs> we need to train him up a little bit. He's not, he's not great, but uh, he's got potential, you know, he's got some, some, some good traits, he's got some... Uh, once his infection is over and his depression is over, <laughs> I don't know why he's depressed. Uh, he will be able to um, to uh, to improve a little bit. Maybe uh, maybe rival is dead. Let's see what happens. Or maybe all our new newfound conquests will uh, revolt against us because they don't like us anymore. Let's see in the next episode. But uh, until then, thank you guys for watching, and uh, see you next time. Bye bye.